Hi Virgo Collective, how are y'all? I hope you're fantastic. I am doing well. It is a new moon today, so set your intentions. Make sure you're doing that. And then um, what else? It's been raining all morning, clearing out, um, as promised, Archangel Michael's clearing out all the black magic that has been done for this new moon. And um, yeah, I talked a little bit about that on Gatekeeper Tarot, actually a lot about that. And um, Gatekeeper Tarot 99. Star Seeds might wanna check that out. The last one I just did. Um, all right, so I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. I pulled a few cards and it looks like the universe is asking you well, I'll show you. First card comes up is loyal heart. You have a loyal heart. But there's 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 two um owls in that picture. So something about you coming together with somebody else or you have come together with somebody else that's loyal to you. You're between worlds. Um You're going from the old to the new right now. And universe wants you to take a nap, get some rest so that you are, this is getting exciting, so that you are poised for being blessed by a soulmate. It's good news so far. And the first tarot I bring out is an emperor. So we have an emperor with a loyal heart here so far. Clarify between worlds. King of swords. This was reversed though. So this person is coming out of a time of being very pessimistic. And um, unbending very, um, not very open-minded, closed-minded. Then time to take a nap, we get the wheel. Universe is saying the wheel is gonna turn whether you're awake or not. So if you need some rest, go ahead. You're still gonna get your good fortune. It's coming to you. And um, you might need some rest. You might be pregnant. You might really need some rest. Get your rest. Or you might be um, trying to have a baby or, but it's looking like a baby somewhere. Oh, here's the Empress. I'm clarifying poised. So four cards out, we have the Emperor and the Empress. And we have loyal heart and soulmates. So this is definitely some kind of a reunion of soulmates. Evolved soulmates. Both of these people are highly evolved. Clarify blessed. Page of Swords. Clarifying blessed. You're going to be blessed by somebody that's spying on you. Or, you know, another thing in this card that I'm noticing is this red string. The string of fate. So this is somebody, uh, you're going to be blessed by somebody that you're tied to by fate. Like, there's no, um, I guess you can't cut this cut this cord. Maybe you've tried. All right, clarify soulmates. Nine of swords. What was it? Was it this card that wanted to come out? Okay, your soulmate is nervous 
about coming in and bringing you a practical offer. They're having sleepless nights and anxiety, a lot of anxiety about it. Okay. Okay. Let's get a different deck. This is nice. It's like this like terrible magic went on over the new moon that I don't even want to get into again. But Archangel Michael washed it away already. It's done. Whatever it was. And um you're still getting your new beginning. This is really, really flipping beautiful. Thank God after the last reading. Oh my goodness. I was ready for some good news. All right, let's clarify the um, loyal hearted emperor. He has healed his broken heart. Three of swords. And he has overcome the devil. And he's overcome his broken heart that was broken by the devil. He's been going through some serious spiritual warfare. All right, clarify between worlds with the inverse king of swords. Hangman, inverted. This person's being freed up, this emperor. It looks like the story starts with the emperor, has a loyal heart um, to this empress. And he's managed to heal a broken heart and <clears throat> that was crushed by the devil. He's patched back together again. Now, then he, it goes to he's between worlds and being pessimistic and hung up um, on moving forward, on moving the wheel, on moving the chains, on getting things going. And so he might be taking a nap. <laughs> It looks like he's taking a nap while the wheel's turning, right? And the Empress is sitting here poised and ready to be blessed by her soulmate. It's a good story. Seven of Pentacles. Even while Emperor and Empress are resting, they, their crops are still being pollinated. They're still Seven of Pentacles. They're still um, investing in their future without doing anything, just by resting is an investment in your future. All right, we have <clears throat> Five of Swords, clarifying the Empress being poised. Yeah, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people attacking the Empress. <laughs> Not that that's funny, but it's just such old news. It's like, okay, yep, talking shit and trying to not cut off her throne. Clarify five of um, swords and the empress. Trying to keep her from a lover. This might be people talking 
Um, people are talking bad to the emperor about the empress right now. The emperor knows his empress. They communicate telepathically. Like, I don't think as long, you know, the emperor is awake. So there's no way that anything that anybody says is going to sway what the emperor feels or thinks for the empress. That's his wife. <clears throat> Page of Swords is clarified by Queen of Pentacles. So the Page of Swords is spying on this um, Queen of Pentacles. A healer. So the spy is spying on a healer. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Um, Two of Wands. Yeah. The Page of Swords is watching the Empress or, you know, slash healer. I don't know. It could, it, it doesn't have to go that way. It could be the healer Emperor. They're probably both healers. Let's just face it. <laughs> but the Queen of Pentacles <laughs> is being spied on by the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is watching the Queen of Pentacles make plans for the future. And um, cutting out things from her past. And choosing elsewhere for the future. Clarify soulmates with Nine of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, nine, nine. Yeah. You guys are both the Emperor and the Empress. Here it's saying, um, that you're single, independent. Maybe you're not single, maybe you're already together. And this is just saying you're sovereign, you know, you're sovereign beings, which is cool. That's like ideal, right? <laughs> you're sovereign, you're independent, you're damn good looking, you look good, you smell good, you taste good, you feel good, all that stuff. You're not the low-hanging fruit by any means. All right. Um, clarify Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Uh, wow, I felt that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so sorry. Your soulmate has a hard-on for you, and that's pretty much the only way I can think to say that right now. Um, let's call it there. That's a really good reading, Virgos. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll get back to you very soon. Thank you.